just getting to the school. Um, it is Saturday, so I want to spend Saturday and Sunday setting up my room for Rock Your School. Uh, here's all the stuff, some of the stuff down there, some more stuff in this box. Um, Hope is in Texas right now with Amy and Corey, and they are doing a Flintstone lesson, which is going to be really fun for them. Um, I'm excited to see what they're going to do. My classroom, uh, we're turning it into a back cave of sorts. So this uh, little room transformation took me uh, really only, it, it took probably about, I would say six or seven hours. So the first thing I did is I took this black tarp and I hung it around the room. It goes all the way around the room so you can see at the top, um, I taped it, but then I was like, oh, that's popcorn ceiling. So I started just using push pins and I did that. Um, and then I went behind there and I got this off of Amazon. It's like a spaceship thing i don't really know but um i just was like i need to layer it a little bit that was really easy just unraveled it put it at the top kind of the same way and then i had that as my base i ordered this um picture backdrop off of amazon i think this was like 15 bucks and i was like that looks really cool i don't know really what i'm going to do with it but i decided to put it in the middle once i had the black lights i knew i wanted to do like a take on hope spy mission thing because it's like superheroes right so I decided to get some string and, uh, and some cordage. I actually got this string from Lowe's. It's really sticky, it's this sticky string, um, but it looks really cool under the black lights. So I did that for this section of the room. I have these LED tables. So these LED tables already, I've had them in my room for a long time. I just made good use of them. I put, I used two in the classroom. I use these LED boxes as well. Then I had these and I just use those in the classroom. I'm just a nerd that way. Um, and then at the front, obviously I have my board, but other than that, I got a reflector tape to create the games on the ground. And that's about it. So here's a superhero training companion guide. And it's just, it just kind of outlines all of the things the kids had to do. So the Nightwing station, um, they had to answer current events. So this was a review for them there. The Green Arrow station, I did Green Arrow because they love Green Arrow. They had to answer a certain amount of uh, Westward Expansion questions. If they get three, then they get to shoot the arrows and I'll show you what that looks like. The detective station, so they had to highlight cause effect and um, individuals that were involved in that section and create a summary from that. That was Hope's idea, which is awesome and so much fun. The kids absolutely love that. And the timeline section, um, where the kids had to recreate a timeline, but they only had a certain amount of time to do that to gather the information. Um, so I collected all of those and they kept points as they went along. So the objective is, this is what it looks like here on the document. The students had to decide, they had a certain amount of questions they had to get for each color. So they had to decide which color they needed. Then they would take um, Nightwing's darts. So they're on his wrist, little darts. And they had to shoot to select the correct color. Once they hit, so let's say they want a pink, they want to answer a pink question, they hit the pink, then they come over here, they find a pink question, they answer the question. Now the cool thing about this is they get to choose where they want to shoot from. So on the ground, right here, I have a little, little game board that they have. So they can choose to shoot it close for one point, they shoot it far away, they get two, and then obviously three, but that's only if they get the question right after they shoot it from that mark. It was uh, a great lesson. We dove into history content. We've been talking about Westward expansion and reconstruction, and the kids had to um, work in teams and groups to complete different tasks. Um, they were either reinforcing knowledge we'd already learned, um, and then applying that knowledge. They were reviewing information, or they were simply gaining new information from the different stations. So the objective was the kids were in groups, they had to complete each station to become a real superhero. They all got one of these type of masks. And so that's kind of how I split them up into different groups. Um, I told them the instructions before they started, but then that also had a little um, superhero companion guide. They also got to work on those instructions were on there as well. They turn those in for a daily grade just to make sure they're being held accountable to what's all involved. So I really pretty much just want to reiterate like, this is just one way to teach your kids. You don't have to do things like this. I chose to do it because it challenges me. 
I don't do room transformations often, and when I do them, most of the time, I will partner with Hope, my wife, but she wasn't here for this one, so I really want to challenge myself to see if I could do it by myself. This is definitely one that you can adapt. It doesn't have to be superheroes, it can be spy, whatever. I mean, it's one of those things to where the kids will walk in and they'll want to be engaged. Now, I don't leave my room up, this, up like this all the time. I have all types of students in my class, and I'll tell you, every last one of them, they were engaged, they were learning, they were loving it so much, but they had so much content in their brains when they left. We did a little quick review today to see how much they knew, and it was phenomenal. So I just want to suggest you guys Reach out, try something different. Do something with a coworker and a partner. Remember, one way doesn't fit all. Try a bunch, you have a bunch of different types of kids in your classroom, so try different things. Um, with that, let's go rock it.